Jesus Christ. Why would you do that? Hey guys, welcome back at the Astra. Um, I'm gonna catch you up on something I did the other day because the uh, SD card on the phone decided to die so I can't show you um, the footage of it. Um, what I did was in here, oh, open those up, um, in here I tried to remove this belt, um, or these belts, and uh, they are attached to the uh, fab factory seat belt connectors, um, or attachment points, like one is down here on the on this one, as you can see, ish, as you can kind of see down there somewhere. Come on, brighter, brighter. No, hold on. There we go. Um, so this down there. If you remove the seat, which I did, you can get to the bolt that holds this on. And what you find then is a strip bolt like in the front here too, on this side. Hold on. So down there, if you lift this up, there we go. Now we have a bolt. So this bolt head you can see is already not looking great. It's a Torx 40, um, but with a proper tool, half inch Torx 40, I was able to use that and get that open. So that was not the problem, uh, but when I went on the other side and realized I had to remove the seat, I did remove the seat. And then I found a Torx 40 bolt like this one that was so stripped that a Torx 40 would just turn loosely in it. So I gave up on that. Um, these are also, by the way, so old that you can see down here, made in West Germany. So they are a wee bit old, just a wee bit. Anyway, I have decided to either leave them in or cut them out. Um, but for now, they're just staying in there. I still haven't made much progress on on this uh, because I'm afraid I'm gonna kill the defroster. But yeah, I don't know which is worse. So um, I'm, I'm gonna have to make up my mind on that. But now, what I'm gonna try is uh, one of two things. Well, two things. First of all, it's gonna get new headlights, a headlight bulbs, and I got a different flashy thingy that supposedly works with Opal. No, not flashy thingy. Um, code reader, ODB thingy, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that a try and see if that actually works with that. Would be kind of nice just uh, to be able to read and erase codes. Like on this one, I know the one code it should have is the front wheel bearing uh, sensor thingy, USB sensor. So I'm gonna give this a shot and be right back. Well, it's plugged in, it's uh, connected to the car, but it's not connected to the ECU. I can communicate with the adapter on my phone with the app, but um, it's checking various protocols and it just can't find one that works, just like my other adapter. Which is annoying because uh, this one, I bought this one specifically because in the reviews multiple people had like things like this, an Astra 2000s, you know. So I don't know if this car is different because it's a, it's a 99, um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it should work. We use this port with the professional machine, um, but yeah, I don't have a multi, multi thousand euro thingy here, so uh, I'll keep trying. I'll, I'll let it run through all the protocols again, but I'm not very optimistic. So I just hope I don't get an error that doesn't go away, um, because the only error I have right now is uh, ABS traction control, that one, or those two, which should go away once I replace the wheel speed sensor. AKA the entire freaking hub, which by the way I have already. Um, we'll get to that later. Uh, but yeah, uh, it would be nice. Okay, the ODB adapter didn't work. So, whatever. Moving on. Headlight bolts. So, I need to get in there somewhere, like down there. There's one. Um, I'm gonna do both because I don't want uneven lights. So, I'm gonna kick those out. Be right back. Okay, both are replaced. One good spare, one broken piece of junk, and now let's see if they do work. Finally, 
Where are you? What are you? Oh. Vanished. Click, click. Lights on. Can already see. One headlight, two headlights. Sweet. Okay, one thing done on the turf list. Unfortunately, just one another one of these easy things, but oh well, they gotta be done too. Yeah. Oh and while we're up here, um after researching a little bit, I'm pretty sure that's not a stock exhaust uh, manifold, but oh well. Yeah, so as I said, wheel speed sensor. I decided to have a look at it um, because I have a new one, but I want to see if there's any cabling or wiring issues first, so let's go and do that. So, what size are you? Small as well, of course. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Who the hell took these down? Jesus Christ. Jesus! Ow! No hands, Ma! Fucking hell! <coughs> Jesus Christ! Why would you do that? Where to try to mess up? Oopsie. Okay. Well, at least the wheel isn't stuck. That's nice. I just noticed something. Um, the calipers are painted green-ish. Oh, would you look at that? Nice, huh? Okay, wheel speed sensor. So, it's you. Well, that's the connector for it. And the sensor sits right here on the hub. Okay, let me turn that wheel, I think. Contact looks okay. Contact in here looks fine. Um, yep. Contacts down there, maybe not so much. Uh, who knows? I mean, yeah, who knows? Exactly. Let me show you. There'll be light. So. We have the sensor ring on the hub. This is a cable that goes up to it. Um, and what I was looking at is... Right there. Looks okay though. All this shit looks okay, so it might just be a faulty sensor. Okay, I got myself some more tools um, and I'm gonna just attempt to remove the things now because I wanna get to the hub bearing assembly and uh, I have a rough idea how to, but that's about it. Didn't bring a hammer, it's already a bad start. Well.
Come on, are you kidding me? I also shouldn't be making too much noise because it's about lunchtime on a Sunday in Germany, so, oh well. Okay, um, that's a good start, isn't it? I literally made a hole in this cap. Pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to work. Made another hole in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at all the rust coming out. A few more taps on the bottom, maybe, should be enough. Maybe, maybe not. Joking, right? Jesus Christ. I don't even. And <laughs> turns out it's a different size. Great. So I'm not going to go much further today anyway, because Audi size or VW. And yeah, nice. It's bigger. So it's not a 27. It's, it's something bigger. So I need a bigger thing. What I can do is remove the caliper and stuff. Good. That's loose. It's nice. 18 and a wrench. If it fits. Why is nothing on this car loose, huh? Also, I just realized something important. Should probably do this. There we go. Okay. There we go. Another brake line is stopping the wrench from coming off. There we go. I guess I'll use a actual wrench for the rest. On the bottom. Boy, oh boy. Oh, I might have a ratcheting thing, 18. Okay, yeah, there's one. One caliper bolt. Uh, I'll have a look for the ratcheting 18 that I think I have. Okay, I didn't have a ratcheting 18. I had a ratcheting 19, which was good enough to get this loose bolt off without having to use uh, this forever and ever. Now, I took the rotor off. Um, the set screw came off really easy. Um, put the caliper on the jack stand here um, and now I've decided uh, the new bearing or the bearing itself hold on right here yep. this oh, this is mounted like this one, two, three. So it's these three bolts. One, two, and the other one on the back. And uh, yeah, um, realistically, there's no way to get 
to these things in any meaningful manner. Um, so it's probably easier since I have to remove the drive shaft anyway. I need to pull this off, so I need to undo a bunch of things. So we're just going to try to undo the control on the bottom steering here and slide it off the um, of the shock um, because I think that's going to be the easiest. And uh, turns out this 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 is all 18 like the caliper, so it's like all the 18s except for this stupid thing which I need to buy tomorrow to get this off. But yeah, I think I'm just going to start preparing all this um, by taking it apart, uh, except for obviously the hub, um, because I literally don't have anything big enough for that. Um, the 27 from the VW Audi doesn't apparently do the trick. So uh, yeah, I already started on this, uh, which went surprisingly easy. There we go. This one's steering link. I don't know, I'll have to wobble a bit on the steering to see. I'll also reduce the hammering today. It's still lunchtime on a Sunday in Germany, so. Then, oh yeah, I want to get this clip off here. this out. Okay. okay. Put the caliper somewhere back here and also lower it down so it drops less. It does eventually drop. And there we go. Huh? Come on. Just, just stay there. Good. 18. 18. I don't actually need to remove it all the way, do I? Because I believe we have a slot here in the back. Can you go there? You can. Okay, I'm gonna leave this uh, for tomorrow. I'm gonna put some WD-40 on there, as I will on the control arm. And the steering arm, um, and then I'm gonna get a nice big hammer and a chisel or something, and just get this apart um, when it's not Sunday noon. Um, so in the meantime, I started taking out the bolts here for the shock. Um, they um, came undone pretty easily, thankfully. And uh, I wonder if I, when I remove this and the steering, and obviously the castle not here. If I can even, even if I can't get this out, if I can just like pull it forward and downward because of the control I'm having, obviously nice range of motion. Um, but I guess that's something I'll find out tomorrow or whenever I get around to attempting this. But for now, let's get the other shock bolt off. Nice noises. I'm gonna do a bit slower not get kicked out of the house too. Also, nice and warm. Almost. Boing. Okay, there we go. And bolt. The bracket obviously came straight with it. This did move. So the question now is what happens if I lower this gently? Oh, nothing. Okay. There we go. Okay, so. Steering still in the way. But after the steering between the control arm and the ball joint, I should get enough angle maybe to get to all the bolts. 
ones with the drive shaft is out. Okay, not bad. It's better than expected. Easy, easy peasy. Look at that. Okay, let's leave it like that. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be it for today. Because, can't get this off, I'm gonna spray some WD-40 on here and here. And I believe that's it. This is connected to the shock, which I don't care about then. Um, probably also gonna drench these. I mean, what, what size is it even? Let's get the new ones out. is that? Like what even is that? Well this doesn't look like it's supposed to be like, so it's not a normal thing. Cool. I might have to buy whatever this is. Because, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so that's it for today, I think. I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm going to put the tools away. If somebody else wants to come and steal this shit here, uh, have it. Um, but, oh uh, yeah, did it come with a new cap? Yes, it did. Let's see. So, um, for tomorrow, whatever this is, 32, I believe, I'll get it. I get the caliper and measure. Um, 32 or whatever here, whatever these are. Let me just take a sample with me to the shop. I'm pretty sure I don't have this. It's like an E something or something. Oh, no. And um, oh yeah, ratcheting 18 might not be a bad idea. So this concludes this episode of the Astro Update video. So we'll continue once we have all the tools we need. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.